Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a decorative stroke around a picture frame and affinity publisher using brushes from designer. Now I'm using the iPad version of the app, but the same thing applies to the desktop version as well. So I've pulled in the circular picture frame and I've added this photograph of ranunculus flowers to it from the stock studio. And I like it, but I want to add a fun border to it. Well, I can start by adding a stroke, but I'm pretty limited as to what I can do with this here in Publisher. I can change the size, I can change the color, I can change it to a dotted line, but that's about it. What I want to be able to do is swap out the solid stroke with one of my decorative vector brushes, but there's no brushes built into Publisher. The good news is when you purchase Publisher, you're automatically given direct access to some of the tools in Designer and Photo via Studio Link. So I'm going to tap this icon at the top and choose Designer, and that's automatically going to pull up Designer's tools and studios. And I have access to the vector brushes that are built in and any that I've imported or created myself, including this infinite looping brush. Now, if you'd like to know how I created the brush, I'll link the tutorial at the top and in the discussion below. Now I can stay here in Designer, but I can also go back to Publisher. So I'm going to do that the same way I came in. I'll tap the top and choose Publisher, and that vector brush stroke remains in place. Now from here, if I want, I can use the Color Studio to change its color. I can go back to the Stroke Studio and I can change its size. In fact, I think I'll make this smaller. I'm gonna change it to 0.5. But there's two important notes. The first is if you turn the stroke off here in the Stroke Studio in Publisher, it's going to remove it completely. So right now at the top here, you can see that I have Vector Brush as an option. But if I change it to something like the dotted line, that disappears. The only way that I can get it back is to immediately two finger tap to undo or go back to Designer and add it back in. The other thing that I want to note is you want to make sure that scale with object is turned on here in the Stroke Studio. If you don't, watch what happens if you scale the frame up and down. It's going to start kind of warping that stroke and it's going to end up looking kind of funny. If you turn on scale with object, as you scale up and down, it's going to remain the shape that it started and scale with the actual frame. Now you can use any of the built-in vector brushes that come with designer, or again, you can use your own. Either way, it's really easy to add a decorative border to one of the built-in picture frames or one of the frames that you create yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the discussion below. And if you'd like to learn more about the Affinity Suite, you might wanna check out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.